When I was younger, I heard many people say that Jesus had just come for the Jews, that he was a reformer of the Mosaic Law, and that he didn't come to bring anything new. Well, Jesus does at one point say, I have been sent for the lost sheep of Israel. This is true. But that wasn't all he was limited to. If you notice, Jesus spoke to a centurion in Capernaum, and in fact, he healed his, his servant. Not only that, but he also healed the Syrophoenician woman's daughter. And he also talked to a Samaritan woman. And then he talked about taking care of the Samaritans. And then he also talked about, towards the end of the book of Matthew, going out and making disciples of all nations, from Judea to Samaria to the ends of the earth. Was Hadrat Isa al-Masih sent only to the people of Israel? That is the contention of some people, especially when they look at what is said in the Injil. It says, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. And then earlier in Matthew chapter 10, verses 5 and 6, we read that the 12 disciples that Jesus sent out with the following instruction heard him say this, Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. Based on those statements, some have said, Well, Isa al-Masih was just for Israel. Well, then why did Isa al-Masih say, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The context was before he offered his life as the lamb, as the ram, as the sacrificial lamb for the sins of the world. Before that time, his mission indeed was just to the lost sheep of Israel. And once this mission was accomplished, then a new mandate was given. And this mandate was that this word of redemption should be proclaimed to the whole world because beyond that point from that point on clearly Esal Masih has, has said to his disciples go to all the nations of the world and proclaim this good news of forgiveness